Today's class will teach how to describe the animal and management in the NASEM 2021 software. We'll have lactating cows, dry cows, and replacement heifers for the type of animal. For young calf, they would be calves up to 90 days old. Here is the selection window. This example shows how to work with lactating cows. Here it will ask you for the breed, and if you click on this rectangle, the main dairy breeds in the United States will appear. Let's choose Holstein cow. When you choose Holstein, if you exit the program, it will place characteristics of the Holstein cow in the United States. For weight, the mature weight and milk composition. And if you work with other breeds, what should I do? Leave the Holstein cow because it's not the breed that defines the requirement, but variables like live weight, milk production, milk composition, which will define this requirement. Let's input a weight of 700 kilograms for mature weight. I'll leave both mature weight and current weight at the same values. The age, anything you put above 50 months won't make much difference. I'll input 54 months. I like to leave the body condition at three, but you should check in the herd you attend. Being one for thin animals and five for obese. Remember that what we look for at calving are animals with a score of three. If my cow has a body condition score of 2.5, and needs to gain weight to reach three, I won't leave 2.5 here, although I could. But you would have to adjust in the next window for a weight gain to return to score three. Here we do things a little differently. I will work on three. And in the next window, I will explain what we will do in the report, which is your diet reports. We will adjust the weight gain in the energy balance. Here we have the percentage of first calf animals within the herd. We work with groups, so if I say it's zero, I'll leave zero here, which means we don't have first calf animals in the herd. If I say it's 100%, it means that 100% are first calf animals. So if you see that within your group there are 30% first calf animals, you'll input 30%. You'll make an adjustment considering that 30% of the group are first calf animals, especially regarding consumption. We'll leave it at zero. Another important piece of information is the number of days in milk. Here I'll use something between 90 and 120 days, and I'll leave 100 days. Why leave it around 100 days? Because the NACM modeling to estimate dry matter intake mainly, the mathematical equations come from experiments where the days in milk on average were around 100 to 120 days. So we leave this here. I'm commenting here that it would be a balanced diet for a high production group, herd one on the farm. So you'll leave 100 days here. It's important if you're working with the postpartum period to be very careful if I say this group has 20 days in DIM because the model will evaluate that. It wouldn't be very good to work with DIM less than 40 here due to the accuracy in the NASEM modeling. There is very little data on postpartum cows in this modeling. So that makes the accuracy a little lower. So you must be very careful if you're using 20 days here because it will evaluate for 20 days. The cow has just calved and it's mobilizing its body condition. What it mobilizes will count. You must report in the next window how much it is mobilizing. Is it mobilizing one kilogram of weight per day? It will make a metric to tell you how much metabolizable energy and protein comes from that loss of one kilogram and that will affect consumption. It will say that cows will eat less. So you must be very careful with this data here. Ideally, always work here with 100 days in milk for maximum accuracy. Age at first calving, I'll leave 24, 26 months here. There won't be much difference. Days of pregnancy, how long is gestation? Here are 50 days, 40, 50, 100, 180 days. The increase in fetal weight is very small. This number here is very important when we're talking about dry cows, formulating for dry cows, and cows in prepartum, where the fetus grows a lot. There, yes, you have to worry a lot about this number here. So if I leave zero here or 50, the increase is very small in terms of the need for energy or metabolizable protein for this other. If I put 32 degrees Celsius, it doesn't use this data to assess heat stress to correct consumption based on heat stress. If the day temperature is high and the day relative humidity is high, 
The only thing it will do, and it's written down here, is to use the temperature only for calves, for very young calves, and it will use these 32 degrees Celsius to calculate water consumption, to estimate water consumption. So this here is an interesting piece of data, especially in summer, really inputting the day temperature, taking a look at the report there, what the water consumption should be, and if the cows really have space to drink that amount of water, according to the requirement. Another important piece of data is that you create a history. If I start recording the temperature, every time I touch the NASEM, I have a parameter because we always save the diets with the date of that day. So I can compare how was the temperature today compared to a diet I made on this farm last year. This can help me understand consumption. Today is much hotter or much colder than last year, for example. In this part of grazing, if you report no grazing, which is the second option, that means the cows are confined. If I say it's grazing, it means the animal is on pasture. The grazing animal will ask you here in the topography if it's mild, moderate, or severe in terms of whether the topography is flatter, if there are more hills, fewer hills. You'll have to adjust more or less here, which would be going to the farm within these three possibilities, for example. It will ask you the average distance from pasture to the milking parlor here in kilometers. Be careful if you write 500 here, you'll see 500 kilometers and sometimes it's 500 meters. So it's 0.5. Be careful here with this KM and it will ask you how many trips. Let's put it that way from the milking parlor to the pasture, two, three, four trips per day. Then you report the average distance, then go from the milking parlor to the pens and how many times you go there in those pens, according to the number of milkings. Returning here to no grazing, meaning confined cattle, we record here in this window the information regarding the animal and management. 